Hello, uh, this is Eduardo Ribeiro. I'm recording this video to help fellow developers out there with the same problem I was having. Uh, I'll be very quick with this video because it was getting aggravated to try to find the solution for this on the internet and I found a lot of things with you know about this but nothing really helped me. So I figured out how to fix this. I'm sharing the experience. Uh, when you try to submit your I'll be very quick because if you are like me you don't want to hear me talking a lot here okay so if uh, you're trying to send your your app to the App Store and you're getting this message no identities are available for signing connect to the iOS developer center import developer profile okay uh, I'll go straight to the answer give you the answer if you want to keep watching the video it's up to you because I'm gonna talk about other stuff too Okay, so this solution, the problem here is because your Xcode, uh, when you are setting up, uh, after you develop your, app, your application, after you test it and it's running fine, you, you make sure it's running everything good, uh, under the target here, remember, you have to set up uh, your distribution, uh, uh, provisioning files and everything here. So the problem was that under the target under the info the information from uh, where is the window kind of lost here it is under your iTunes connect the bundle ID number right here I, I hid the other stuff for security purpose but the bundle ID number has to match the bundle ID number right here under the targets account this number was incorrect and because the number was incorrect it wasn't allowing me to pick these uh, the distribution uh, profiles here so once I fixed the bundle ID identifier I was able to see this because I could only see my uh, my distribution and developer profiles under the the project uh, directory but under the target here it wasn't giving me that here so this is what I did to uh, to solve the problem with the uh, I lost the screen somewhere out there okay uh, so this is what I did to solve the problem All right that's the solution that's what I've done and that's how it it solved the problem now um, I want to suggest a few uh, things here uh, if somebody is just starting to uh, to develop the application um, I suggest uh, three books number one this book iOS app development on page 376 it will give you instructions step by step how to create and install uh, distribution uh, profiles um, also this book uh, it's pretty good it will give you uh, many examples and you can test and you can try it yourself and create your own and this book comes with a DVD that it's very helpful also okay my uh, little app was a simple app to uh, to show responsive content from this website it's my website uh, my intention was to create an app that I can offer to my clients so my clients can have their own app that shows their responsive content from their website I'll demonstrate the app so basically it's the uh, it's my website in an app in a responsive uh, content app everything that is here it shows there okay um, the menus up here got, we have the blog menu right here click on it have the blog menu here so it just adapts to the uh, to the phone to the iPhone screen 
app demonstration integration app demonstration and integration video and the video here I like how the video plays here on the uh, on the app this is Eduardo Ribeiro ok alright so I have the about uh, button iPhone app with dependence on responsive web content the back button and the exit button okay so that's how you solve the problem I try to be very quick with this video without going to high details and going straight to the solution for the problem all right Thank you.